Welcome to our week three weekly check-in from August 16th to August 22nd. Uh, yeah, a little bit of spending went on this week. Not too bad, though. All right, food. Food, we are over. But not by much, but we did go over in food. We had $26.23 on the 16th was Aldi for $51.45. So what mine and my son's together was $25.22. But mine was only 25, when I say 25, 22, $12.61. So I, we spent, let me put twelve sixty one here, oh, and that should be in a red. So, minus twelve sixty one. Can you see that? We'll be in just a tiny bit more. There we go. Alrighty. So we spent twenty was fifty one forty five. Forty five divided by two was twenty five dollars and seventy three cents. Twenty five seventy three. So not too bad. Yeah, we're over, and I had to take that from the buffer. But we'll be okay with that. Why does that look like 11? Let me just fix that real quick. There we go. For some reason my red pen does not want to work today. So that is that. We will do our calendar um, after we get our weekly check in here. Okay. So. That is empty and the money was in the household account, but now that money is all gone for the month of August. All right, gas. Gas, we started with 140, gave my husband 60, and I'm using the wrong pen. Get organized here, Donna Jo. Okay, and we are left with 80. $80 left. And I will. 20, 40, 60, 80. So we are good with that. So we will put that to the side. We're doing pretty good with that. We have household. Household, we had $10. We did not spend anything. Oh, I forgot to show you the paper for the gas. Um, that's a, not want to work. There we go. It was on the 20th, Wawa, $60, and he had $80 left. Okay. Household, we didn't spend anything. So, we didn't spend anything, so we should still have like $10 for household. And that's that paper there that, that you can see. I'm going to have to move these out just a tiny bit. All right. So you can see we didn't spend anything, and we are going to count five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dollars is still left in there. Alrighty, move that to the side. Actually, these are going to fall off. Okay, I'll stick them over there. Personal care. Personal care. I only spent three dollars. So we had 32, and I only spent three. That gives us 29. Three dollars I spent because I had to get cough drops, so I take that from the personal care money that I have from me and my husband and my one son for the month. So technically, we only had was on the 21st, Publix, and three dollars. So we should have 29 dollars left. And we are going to count that real quick. 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So that is correct. We'll put that over there. This is mine and my husband's spending. We don't track that. The buffer. All right. We had 2502 for the buffer. I spent, now this is my half for the food. Okay. My half for the food was $12.61. So, this is wrong on here. This was $51.45. 40, 45. Okay. My half was 1241, which I should have that in red. So we don't budget anything for unbudgeted. And I did spend 25, what was it? 25, I don't remember. Twenty five seventy three. This 2573 was my half. So the balance, because we did still have a little, like 25, 2502, we had left for the buffer, and I just put that in the unbudgeted. Alright, there we go. It was 20, 2573. 2573. That was my half. We were over. We had 25.02 that we had left. Who was left for mine and my sons together? We went 51.45. That's both of mine and my my sons together. So half of that is the 25.73. So my was over on mine of $12.41. So this will be. $12.41 is what was, oh, um, no, nope, $12.41 is what's left of the buffer. So that's supposed to be $12.41 is what's left of the buffer. I was $12.61 over, and we had $25.02. So half of that, so I got $12.41 left and the buffer. So on um, budget it was the twelve sixty one, which was my half of the food. So that puts us at twelve sixty one over for an un unbudgeted which came out of the buffer. So that is with that. Now we're going to go to our calendar, and we are going to put in our no spends. So we had on, I'm going to check these papers here, on the 16th we had Aldi, which was food. And I'm going to put that as a spend day because we were over in our food. So... This was Aldi, and that was for 20, $25.73, that's what it was, $25.73, and that was a spend day. For that the 17th was a no spend day because we didn't have anything I don't think they had anything else for the 16th anything else was towards the later of the week yeah the buffer I would have to put in there too so I don't have for a buffer so I'm just going to write it for the buffer here and I'm going to put it in red actually so I know Buffer and that was for twelve forty one or no twelve sixty one that's what it was twelve sixty 
pretty sure. Let me just double check to make sure. I think I put that as the buffer for 1261. Try to get these pages and my fingers don't want to work today. All right, so that is what we are over. 17th was a no spend. The 18th, I don't think we had anything for the 18th. No, so that was a no spend. The 19th, let me move you in just a tiny bit. There we go. The 19th was a no spend. All right. The 20th, I believe we had. Um, let me see. Yeah, the 20th was I gave my husband gas, um, gas money blue. That was for Wawa. $60. And I do consider that a no spend day because you need gas in order to go to work. So, and that was for $60. And that was the only, the only one. Okay. And that was a no spend. Alrighty, and the 21st was, yeah, I did that, and the 21st was the personal care that we did for Publix. So personal care is green, so that's Publix for $3 on the 21st. on the 21st, and I believe that was it on the 21st. I think it was just the one. Yeah. And then on the 22nd was my own personal money, which I will put that into pink. It's my personal money, which was for $15 for my personal money for Duncan. And that is it. Let's see how many no spends we had this week. And let's see. We had one, two, three, four. Not bad. We had four no spends this week which is not bad at all. So we will wait until the end and then we will add up how many no spends we had for the month of August. So we're going to we're going to wait on that and then we will uh we'll count them all up at the end. But that is it for this video. I just wanted to come down and I'm going to put this with my uh weekly check-in. I had made a mistake on my buffer. I was tracking mine and my son's together, which the buffer is just mine alone. So I wanted to correct that real quick. So for 816, we had Aldi. I had 2502 left in my buffer. It came to 2573, which was my half of the Aldi. And I actually was only over by 71 cents, which is not bad for the uh, for the buffer because I always leave a little bit of money still in my checking account plus the you know the rest of the the buffer that's left from that month. So I always try to I have to leave a certain amount in my checking account, so I always try to leave at least an extra 
15 or $20 in there that will cover any cents or if I'm like two or three dollars over in the buffer so I usually keep the amount of the buffer in there plus an extra 20 or 30 dollars just in case I go over in the buffer but I wanted to show you that um, I did make a mistake on that I did catch it but I didn't catch it until after I had done the video so I just wanted to show you that I I did correct it and that I was only over by 71 cents and not by $12, a little over $12. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you like, if you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.